Hey, what's up guys? Sean here. Today, we're going to be talking about the new hideaway tarp from Hanging High Hammock. Let's get it. Now, if you're interested in one of these tarps, watch till the end and I'll tell you how you could possibly win one for yourself. So it's no secret that I am a hanging high hammocks fan i use the rim hammock for my primary hammock and uh, i have been loving it so it was a no-brainer to go with the hideaway tarp now this tarp has some pretty cool specs and for the price it's hard to beat let's talk about the specs real quick and then we'll get this thing set up and see what it looks like now the website states that the hammock is engineered with robust construction constructed from a durable 30 denier seal poly ripstop with a resilient three millimeter diamond weave. The hideaway hammock tarp is engineered to withstand the elements and ensure long lasted use. It says that the tarp and the hardware collectively weigh about 38.4 ounces. That's not ultra light, but for the cost, it's kind of hard to beat. So this tarp comes in at 55 bucks on their website. And over $35, you get free shipping. So $55 bucks and free shipping from their website. For this tarp, it looks like it's going to be hard to beat. Let's set this thing up, take a good look at it, and see if that's the case. Now, as you can see, this tarp has already been opened. And there's a reason for that. This tarp came in really handy at HangCon. The Friday night when it rained, I forgot to lower my tarp down on my setup and the rain started blowing in under my setup well i reached and grabbed this which was just laying handy i opened it up pulled the tarp out just quickly threw it above my head and my feet and covered up with this and went back to sleep so it worked out pretty slick but i have opened it up but i haven't really used it other than that so we're going to open this thing up take a look at it real quick set it up and just see how easy it sets up So first thing comes out of the bag is the hardware and in this hardware we have some ridge line plenty of rope for tie outs and such plenty of rope for tie outs look at that that's a lot comes with one two three four five six seven eight stakes and these are the uh little y stakes and i like those because they're a lot stronger than some of the other little thin stakes that you get it does have these little uh tie outs on them um in my experience from seeing a lot of them come with these things you're going to want to be real careful with these because they want to pull off there. Not a huge deal. You can retie them. But if you go ahead to start with and t pull them tight and then take your lighter and heat these up just a little bit, it will lock them in place. You don't have that issue quite so much. So I'm unraveling some of this cordage. And uh, looks like it has these little plastic tensioners on the end of them. Um, as a general rule, I don't hardly ever use those, uh, but for people who like to use that sort of thing, it's nice to have these on there. And these, I will say, are thicker plastic than a lot of the ones you get. Like, that's pretty thick plastic on these tensioners. So if you use these, you might really like that. So after pulling apart all the guy lines, what I realized was, you have 12 guy lines. There is six for each side, and there are two longer lines in the kit that will attach to your trees. Now, I like to have my tarp about head high for the ridge line. And uh, I don't really use these little tensioners, but I'm gonna try this real quick, and if it doesn't work, then we'll go back to the way I normally do it. Now, as a general rule, I like to tie bowling on the end of all my guy lines. Um, you don't have to do it how you want to 
this is just how I'm gonna do it okay so when it's all snapped together like this you have the center seam up here which has this guy out point on it and I will say that the seam is taped and that's really nice so that should work out really well nice construction all right so let's get this hooked up on this tree here and then uh get the other end tightened up okay so i don't know if i'm not smart enough or not but all of the lines came with these little plastic tensioners well when i tried to use them for the ridge line i just could not work it out in my head how to make them work correctly so i pulled the ones off of the ridge line i've got a bowling on one end and i'm going to simply do a half hitch on this other end i can pull it plenty tight do a quick little half hitch i can even do an extra half hitch on there to make sure it's tight and then safe it up and i don't have to worry about it so i know it's probably not how it was designed to be used but this worked a lot more simple to me in my mind than those little uh plastic tensioners so this is simple enough to do i like it now let's get the sides pulled out see how that works okay so when this thing is just hanging it looks like it has four tie out points on the side of it but remember this has doors so we're not going to this very very first tie out we're going to go to the one end and that's where we're going to hook to to get our doors to work now if you didn't want to use those if you wanted to use this like a regular tarp you could still just tie to these fly it or pull it out and hang it without setting it up for doors but we're going to set it up for doors to start with to just see how it looks so we're going to go to this second tie out point in here and get tied up to it now i'm going to show you how these line tensioners actually work but what we're going to want to do is because this has doors on it you don't want to pull this thing out too far you want to keep this seam pretty straight up and down so we're going to try to keep an eye on that keep that seam where it's going to be tight but pretty straight up and down so we need a stake somewhere in this point right here all right so after you have your lark's head on here you're going to take this so if you will look at this piece this is the piece that's going to adjust this side if you look at it this little curl that needs to go around your stake so we're going to open that up a little bit we'll put that around the stake making sure we get it below that notch now that you've got that you can take this tensioner and grab it and just pull that tensioner right up the line and lock it down and that's how that tensioner works all right, so we're just going to move to the other side, get it tied out. All right, so like I said, I'm no expert on this tarp. This is my first time really taking it out and getting a good look at it and setting it up. And it's taking a little bit of time to kind of get it adjusted just right. And as you can see, it's a little bit lower than I would typically hang a tarp. But for me, if I'm going to be hanging this tarp with the doors closed, I'm trying to fight the wind and stuff, so I would hang it lower anyway. That being the case, you can see it's got a little bit of sag in it. They do give you guidelines that you could tie that out if you wanted to. And I might possibly do that if the wind got too bad and it started to bother me. But right now, let's look inside it real quick, see what it looks like. Then we're going to pull these other tie outs out and see how much more room that gives us. All right, let's unsnap these doors. Now, if you wanted to, you could unsnap both ends and tie these back, and that would give you plenty of airflow through there. But these are good for wind blocking and privacy. So it's pretty nice. I do love the color on this thing. I'm really excited about it, to be honest with you. Let's walk inside it real quick and see what kind of room we have now, and then we'll pull those sides out. All right, so this isn't a ton of headroom in here. Had I pitched it a little bit higher, I would have more room. 
but this is basically how I would normally pitch my regular tarp and this is fine for me with the hammock set up in here it give me plenty of room and I do like having the doors closed down there it's really nice to have that privacy aspect to it but let's pull these sides out and see how much more room we get then Now I do have to say, pulling these sides out made a huge difference in here. It's got a ton more room. I'm really happy with the way this thing's set up. Wouldn't be much of a test though if I didn't put the hammock in it, right? Let's do that. All right guys, well there we go. This is a really nice setup. Now something I wanted to point out real quick too that I forgot to mention earlier, all of your tie out points are taped also and everything is taped really well i don't find any uh, strings that are just hanging or anything the thing is done really really well um like i said i don't think you can beat it for the money if i had one gripe i would say that and it's not just hanging high hammocks it's the industry itself if you give 12 guy lines if it's possible you may need 12 guy lines give 12 stakes I don't understand why that's not a thing but if you have the hammock as well as the tarp the hammock has two stakes that come with the hammock itself to tie out the shock cords to kind of keep you from swaying I don't ever use that um, I don't have a problem with that I don't mind the swaying so much and I don't really sway all that much anyway but since I've got this hammock it came with these two stakes so I can stake out my doors. So that's pretty cool. If you get both, you will have enough stakes to set this thing up all the way. But now, I think I'm gonna kick back and relax for a few minutes. Alright guys, so I have to be 100% honest with you. I really, really like this tarp. So this tarp is 55 bucks right now on hanginghighhammocks.com. It's hard to beat that. Anything over 35 bucks is free shipping. Now I bought this with my own money. With my own money. I'm not being paid to tell you this. This is just something I wanted to show you because I really believe it's a great product. Having said that, I reached out to Trevor myself. I asked Trevor if he would be willing to do a collab with me because I want to get one of you guys one of these tarps for free. Trevor said that'd be fine with him. So here's the deal. You're going to have to go over to Hanging High Hammocks on Instagram. I know some of you don't have Instagram. Instagram is free. If you don't have it, that's up to you. Hanging High Hammocks on Instagram give them a follow to be eligible to win this tarp. Now, Trevor's gonna make a post, follow his directions on there, and Trevor will pick a winner next Friday. So that'll be Friday the 26th. So the 26th of January, Trevor's gonna pick a winner of one of these tarps. Appreciate Trevor for joining me in this collab and uh, giving away one of these tarps. I really want one of you guys to have one. So, so go to Instagram, give hanging high hammocks a follow and uh, Trevor will tell you how to win one of these tarps so I appreciate you guys watching this video if you enjoyed it give it that big thumbs up for me if you haven't already hit that subscribe button down there for me you can follow me on Instagram and on Facebook go over there hit up hanging high hammocks on Instagram for your chance to win one of these tarps I'll see you next Thursday